Hello, PokéTubers! This is Mega Kelio bringing you another gold and silver battle. And this battle is epic, awesome, because it versus the master himself, Xenon3120. He is the master of gold and silver, the king of the mana game, and he is always unbeaten. And yes, this match is epic as usual. He is great, and every prediction right on, bang on, this match is epic and nobody can argue with that because it is totally epic. And so let me just get into this team preview. And um, yeah, so this team was just made because I like the Pokemon of this team and I picked the Pokemon that looked the best. So yeah, so the first Pokemon is the Vaporeon because I wanted to show you guys what Vaporeon can actually do. And that's a lot if you see this battle. So Surf, Bait and Pass, Row Growth and um, yeah. So if you see bait and pass and growth, you'll be thinking, what? PP0? Well, yep, that is a glitch. Once you pick a savvy Pokemon, you have to heal it in the PC, which I didn't do. I thank God none of my Pokemon were 0 HP. That would have been disappointing. So next Pokemon is Fortress. Just set up spikes. And Rapid Spin, also 0 PP. So yeah, very bad. Toxic, because not many Pokemon can... Um, can withstand the toxic because not many have steel in this gen and so yeah as i said if he has a fortress i am screwed so hidden power uh hidden power bug as usual and um if you hear any background noise it's just the rain because it's raining very heavily in the outside and monsoon period in india so yeah so hypnosis explosion ice punch sun blow you've all seen that in the Ubers match and it does work here. And Miss Dravis, who doesn't like to see a beautiful, cute little Miss Dravis with the mean look, Perry Song, Protect, and the Thunder. Exactly like the Murkrow in the fifth gen. Not a game, but this isn't second gen, so better. Second older the better. Old is gold. So Dragonite, Ice Punch, Thunder, Dynamic Punch, and Body Slam. What an awesome set. And Houndoom, also known as Hellhound, if you do watch Xenon's videos, with the Crunch Fire Blast Pursuit and Counter. So yeah, really good sets everywhere, and um, yep, epic as I said. And this match not that hacky, but uh, without hacks, the game is just boring. So yep, let's get into this battle. Okay, so I'm back, and um, this battle is against Xenon, as you guys know, and some OU battle, and uh, versus my random team. So yeah, I'm going in, and. Um, Keldeo versus Xenon. Who will come out victorious? To find out more, watch this whole battle. So he starts off with his three jo Junior, and I start off with my Vaporeon. A bad matchup. Both the Eevee Evolutions. So I'm just gonna go switch out to my Fortress, who's the only one who can take a hit properly and an awesome way. So he, uh, he's gonna go for agility, predicting the switch. And um, I'm thinking, okay. So uh, should I go for the spikes, toxic, or hidden power? So I'm just gonna go with spikes. So every Pokemon that comes out will get some little residual damage. So he's gonna go for the thunderbolt, and surprisingly, this does a lot of damage. And he may take me out of the next turn if he gets max damage or a critical hit. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go stay in and use the toxic because. I really use Doxic this thing since it is agilitized and he, he has to switch. Unless he does have the Baited Pass. And yeah, I survive because he gets the min damage or that water max damage. And because of leftovers, I survive. And I'm just gonna go stay in Dead Fodder. Maybe he's gonna over predict, so I go for the hidden power. But no, he's just gonna stay in experience for the win. And he's gonna take my fortress out. And uh, now I'm gonna go switch into my Dragonite. Um, oh, Honju, I thought Ragnar, and he's just gonna go stay, he's gonna use the Baited Pass as he reveals right here, he does have, and um, I think, who is Baited Pass it to? I think he Baited Passes it to his, oh, I forgot, to his, yep, to his Marowak, which is his mascot Pokemon, I'm gonna go for the Fire Blast. Fire Blast for the win. Horn Doom is awesome and it does so much of damage. And I'm thinking, okay, should I go for the Pursuit? Maybe switch. I don't know, but yeah, I'm just gonna switch and uh, yep, yeah, go to the Dragonite to take the Bone. Not Earthquake, sorry, not Bone Rush. 
and um, yeah, and avoid. I don't avoid it. I, I, um, I. Oh my god, I forgot my words. It's been such a long time since I narrated one of these battles. I uh, let's just say avoid. Okay, so he goes for the uh, rock slide. I'm immune to it. Yeah, I'm immune to it. And he goes for the rock slide, and that actually doesn't do quite a lot of damage. And he gets the flinch. No. So I'm just gonna go for the ice beam. I'm praying so badly that this does not flinch me. Now Dragonite will just be a beast in this battle. And I am lucky enough not to get the flinch and Ice Beam to take this Xenon out. And the score is level at 5 all. So um, he's going to switch out to his Jolteon right here so that he can just annihilate my Dragonite. Outspeed it. Jolteon is super, 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 super fast. And he gets hurt by spikes. That's what I wanted. And he's just gonna go for the Thunderbolt. I thought he maybe will over predict the switch. Maybe go for the agility. Like just go for the body slam. But no, not no old predictions at this point in the match. Goes for the Thunderbolt. Takes out my Dragonite. And at this point, I'm thinking. I should have really taken a ground Pokemon because the choice was between Gengar and a Rhydon but I went with Gengar because it has the explosion and over here I'm just okay well, I was just talking to Xenon from the chat and I went to Hypnosis so that was a misclick right there because I was supposed to go for the explosion to explode but thank god Thunderbolt doesn't do as much as expected and Gengar can survive one more with max damage and annihilate this T Joe Jr. using his explosion. And um, yeah, he's gonna go for the Thunderbolt. I'm, I'm gonna survive with red HP. HP is going down. I thought I may die with the critical hit, but no, lucky. And Jolteon's gonna die with the explosion. Get out of here, son! And uh, yeah, so both of us die. Empty feel, which is so awesome because at last I killed that Jolteon, which could have annihilated my whole team. So yeah, I'm gonna switch out to my um, Hellhound or Hondoom. Um, his Hellhound, his Hondoom for Hellhound. What am I saying? And he switches out to his high ass Tammy. I'm gonna go with the Crunch, thinking, oh my God, Hondoom is so fast, it can outspeed this little higher. But no, I just realized a Tammy is faster than a Hondoom, and Hondoom is gonna die. Super effective stab. What else? But he gets a critical hit. Taxi, but yeah, not really. I think I would have died, but maybe not. So now I'm switching my Miss Dravius. I know I have the Thunder. I can just retaliate back at the Thunder, and Miss Dravius will take any hit like a boss because it is defensive, even though it does not carry Evil Light because it can't carry Evil Light because it was not released at that time. And he goes for the Surf, and Miss Dravius takes it really well. And I go for the Thunder, hoping for Para Hacks or Critical Hit. One of those two, I'll be happy. And would you know it, I get the awesome para hacks. And now I can outspeed this higher, go for the thunder, and kill higher. So now I'm thinking, should I go for the thunder? Predicting. Or should I go for a mean look? Predicting something else. Um, but no, I don't want to over predict at this stage of the match. So I just go for the thunder. Easy take out. Haya's dead. Now it's awesome because I killed most of his fast Pokemon. And I don't know if they have any more fast Pokemon. But um, yeah, so now I'm waiting for him to send out his Pokemon to find out and he sends out Hellhound which is misery to my head. It brings total misery to my head because Hellhound is super fast. If you watch Xenon's video, Hellhound is mostly the MVP and uh, Hellhound can do lots of stuff. And now he predicts the switch, goes for the pursuit, catches me and I am going to survive with a smidgen of HP but it's no use because Vaporeon has to come out. So now I knew he was going to switch, I was going to go with the growth and then I realized I had zero PP. So yeah, because of this I am going to have the disadvantage but I just have to get over that and do stuff. Keep going with the surf because Vaporeon has to do the job. I go for the surf, it does actually quite a good amount of damage saying that Snorlax is a second gen god as you can see the nickname. It is really a second gen god. It's so bulky. And with curse, oh my god. It is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So he's gonna go for the curse. And because the good thing about Snorlax is 
Sleep Dog Rest is banned. So he can just go for the curse. I don't really care because Surf is a special attack move. Uh, that's what I think it is. I guess it is because it's doing the same amount of damage each time. And I'm just, I have to go for the Surf again and again because I do not want to roll. Um, even though he's at plus one at the moment and uh, now he's at plus two. I could have rolled easily but I don't know what my game plan was in my mind at that time. Maybe to set up, but yeah, as I said, the Groat had zero PP, so yeah, so I can go to Surf again, and if he wants to set up, next turn he's gonna die, so not really a big deal if he sets up this turn, and I'm gonna go to Surf, he survives with Red HP, goes for the double edge, I thought Vapor Junk is going to die with one shot, it is so powerful, second gen god hitting me, and Vapor Junk surprisingly survives with the 24 HP, and uh, Snorlax dies. Which is awesome. I don't think I get to see the last Pokemon on this team because he's just gonna come out and kill me unless I'm faster, which is very, very less possibility because Hellhound is a boss. And in this match, Hellhound did the amount of awesomeness he does in most of the matches. And I have to switch out to my to Javis. I still thought my, my Hondu was alive, but nope, it wasn't. It had died. So I'm just gonna go for the Protect just to stop one more turn. And, um, yep. Yeah. Protect is really awesome. I can survive this. I can't survive this because I'm protected. But, um, yep, yeah, his attack misses because I'm protected. And uh, I don't want to go for the double protect in case it doesn't work. Tough stuff. I just go for thunder in case somehow I uh, am able to outbeat it. And so, slow motion crunch, crunching Miss Dravius. And Miss Dravius is gonna die out of this crunch. And that is the end of this game. Awesome match, Xenon. I really, really, really appreciate the match. The match is really epic. I uh, love the match. If you guys did, you welcome. Leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe for one more uh, second gen battle. Make it 10 to 15 likes, whatever. Because I love forcing second gen battles. But you guys have to say, stop playing. You guys have to be the change of second gen metagame. If you guys play, then we can get our battles and post it in our channel. So the more people, the more happier we are. So, yep. Thank you, Xenon. If you guys haven't checked Xenon, you are mad. You're missing out on something awesome. He's one of the best YouTubers in this community. And, um, yep. So, Mega Kelvia signing out. Um, peace!